hey, and the save is still there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is like my single biggest fear about doing all these PlayStation recordings uh-huh. is I trust the battery inside an individual cart a li- just a li- not a lot, just a little more than I trust that memory card. Yeah. Because I've lost, I don't know about you, I've lost my fair share of PlayStation save games oh, yeah. over the years. Oh, yeah. So, hey, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to a save file that has not been corrupted. Stars of Destiny Adventure Time Go. Basically. Alright, so... I, need to, I wanted to check something. Did I ever... Okay, yeah, I did upgrade her armor. Because I forgot, like... Now that I've taken her off damage... I don't need her to have extra magic power. I was going to say, yeah, she's robot. on healing duty, yeah. Yes, she is now a dedicated healer. But that magic plus thing doesn't affect the amount of healing she does? It does, but not enough to matter. Gotcha. Like, the spells are already powerful enough to heal us to full. That's true. Like, the enemy health seems to be scaling a lot quicker than yours does. Yeah, like, the most anyone ever gets in these games is between six and 700, and some characters don't even get that high. It's kind of Victor numbers. Yeah, like, Victor is pretty high. And there's a character we'll get later on who is, like, the highest, but even he only gets Uh-oh. up to, like... That looks like a militia. 600-something. But before we talk to him... What's up, Top Hat? Oh, yeah. That's right. Uh Uh-huh. The window room. At least he's upfront about it. Yeah. It's like, I really want that. Can I have it? Sure. That's such a specific goal in life. It's also very modest. He's not saying he'll be the best stained glass maker out there. He'll just be good. <laughs> I like it. He's hedging his bets. I also like it. All right. So I believe, yeah, I have to bring all the blacksmiths back here to talk to the guy. Okay. So we don't have to worry about that. For oh, that's right now. like your mace, moose, mice, mice. Yep. I think that one was moose. Yeah, that sounds right. All right. Well, there's Zorak. Yeah, we found a sword. Here, say, say hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the cheek. Okay. It's true, he hasn't proven that he's strong against vampires, he just says it a lot. Well, I was just about to throw all these humans to their death, but right. uh, if I don't have to do that, you go for it. Oh, like you don't know who's wedding invitation. Right. Scumbag. That's a, that's a, that's a D-bag move right there. I'm just going to steal your daughter. Oh, by the way, come to our wedding. Uh, that's a bad idea. Could you not go ahead of me? It just means... Uh, I'm going to have to fight all of them as zombies, aren't I? <laughs> uh, uh, God, spoiler alert, no. You actually won't. Oh, okay. It's okay. I, I just don't generally see the wisdom in... All right. Let's send the waves of militia in front, and then follow them up with the elite fighting force. Right. Strikes me as a bad plan. You know, don't worry about it. It's actually going to be okay. I promise you. Every little thing is going to be all right. Basically. Aw, not a lot of eeps, but decent money. Yeah, those guys do give some pretty quality cash. Which I do still need. Always. My frontline fighters will need weapon upgrades before too long. That is one ostentatious Brave master! He looks like he wants a handout. <laughs> Change. Don't leave me. Don't leave me, baby. That's pretty decent non-crit damage for Victor. It's also... 8 experience or something? Nah, yeah, whatever. Eh. I'm only, fighting them because, I'm only fighting them because it's one enemy. It's hmm. not, not worth running away from. Organ music. It's yeah. a little cliche, but we can work with it. Yeah, but this is also one of my favorite dungeon themes in the game. Actually, I think it is my favorite dungeon theme in the game. Alright, everybody. Rah! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's the worst battle cry. Like, they should have just left off the last Y, and it would have been alright. But Lolly ho! Yay! Hey, put the music back on. I 
don't know if beloved is the right word here. Oh, wow. He's saying we've got all day to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> I can do this all day. Oh. Time dungeon. Yeah. It's only narrative, though. We're not actually timed. Aw. This four-ton weight's really heavy. It's going to take me at least five <laughs> minutes to push it. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. So I mean, again, Ultros is just ridiculous by design. Oh, sure. And we all love them for it. Seafood soup. Now we got to do it. Look, we're going to take out the vampire. Whether she decides to leave the castle or stays there is entirely her call. Right. Hey! It's... Hey, it's Plucky. Oh, no. Don't do it. No. But... But... Yeah. It's... You can't fight until you name your sword. Yeah, listen to the precinct commander. Oh, don't... This means we're taking him with us. This music means we're taking him with us. I became important. <laughs> now you gotta bring me along <laughs> now. <laughs> Narrative. No, go away. Oh, I'm, I'm begging. <sighs> please. Please, sir. Oh, 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 <laughs> Yay! I love how he's from the Warriors Village and his name is Hicks. I don't get it. He really seems a little too cultured for a name like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, He's the son of Cliff the Crusader. They're all sons of Cliff the Whoa, Crusader. Whoa, can, can, can we slow it down until he succeeds in this mission? Right. Him coming and begging us should not be qualification. Maybe it's like there's like a dark uh, mistranslation here where it's like he expects him to die, so he's just giving him sort of like a pre-posthumous warrior status. Yeah. Although that's saying a lot about your confidence in him. I'm just saying. No, but that's, I, I, that's kind of an interesting idea. Oh, this is where he's going to piss off the dad, though. Not gonna actually say it. We can check that in the inventory screen, though. Uh, can yes. we? I would think. I actually, I've actually never checked. All uh, right. Uh, damn it. Alan or Flick? Yeah, and it has to be one of them because Flick's is short ranged. Uh, let's just take a look at their stats. I kind of feel like Alan is the. No, Flick's faster, stronger, a little better at magic, more skilled. I think Flick is the way to go, so we'll get No, that's Alan. what I mean. Alan's the one to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, I love the fire rune, but... Sure. I gotta take this clown. Speaking of clown, is he carrying Tengar? Let's find out. Oh, it's not gonna be there. It's gonna be here. Yeah, I mean... Tengar that was, plus! You, you knew that was gonna happen. Sure. I just didn't know if they, if they named it yet, because he hasn't actually said the name of the sword yet. Right, yeah, so yeah. So I, I wasn't sure how that was... No, no how that was gonna work. All right, well, Hicks, uh, Hicks sucks. I, I don't feel like I need to sugarcoat it for you guys. Hicks is terrible. Hey, pick up some XP while you're in here, at least. Yeah, pretty much. So all Hicks does is is physically attack. Like, you're have him be an item mule. He's not strong. He's not good. There's nothing great about him. So that guy over on the right is purple. He's a zombie. Huh. Oh, I, I have enough money. I get to show you guys something. Interesting. Go on. <laughs> Let's go talk to the guy. <laughs> Zombie vendor? Ah, something like that. Hey, guess what I get to do? Some odd-looking larva, but I dig the hell unicorn. Speaking of hell, let's send him home. These are random encounters. Kulazima! <laughs> Such a broken spell. And gone. Yeah, a little bit of experience. Four levels for Hicks, whatever. Yeah, get him caught up with the rest of the group. Some free money. Yeah, 11,000 bits. Not a small amount. Alright, first thing. Hey, someone may be able to take advantage of that. I'm hoping Hicks can use it. Yes! yes. There we go. Because his gear also sucks. 
Nice leather armor, bro. Nice wooden shield. You're from the warrior's village. Mm, I don't remember seeing a foundry there. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Oh, really? How much money are we throwing at this guy? Eh, well, each fight gives you 10,000. May as well throw a little bit. Okay. Interesting clue. Sure. Go on. Yep, let's see what else this guy has for us. I don't suppose you have, like, a frequent customer discount or anything. He does not. Alright, well that yeah. certainly connects with the first thing they told us. Sure. Now, this thing... This is supposed to be a clue to a puzzle later in the game. I have no idea how to translate it. Yeah, I... Maybe it's like someone getting yelled at for reading them in the correct order, knowing that they might open something up? I have no idea. Hey, let's see what the what his 25k yeah, explanation is. I'm yeah. very, very generous. <laughs> but... 25,000. Yeah... Whew. Yeah, you have to have it in order to get that, that conversation. You need button. some quality control there. <laughs> Master Neck Lord, googly goo. <laughs> I, I always got a kick out of that. It's, I was very concerned for a second there. That we were just dropping 25,000 precious I mean, precious money matters bits. in this game, man. Money does matter in this game. Which is another reason why I'm playing mostly magic characters, so I don't have to worry about uh, equipment too much. A little, sure, but not too much. Da -da -da -da. All right, let's get this dungeon started for reals now. Lots of treasure to find. This here. sounds like it could be the dramatic lead up to like one of those soap opera moments. Yeah. <laughs> Will he ever wake up again? Oh, you mean like 50s <laughs> soap opera? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I have four of these. Let's see what you can do. Survey says. I forgot how. Oh, it's the AoE shredding. Ah, I uh, remember that one. It's decent. It's okay. Well, may as well just whack Finish him upside his heads. And done. Cool. There's a little XP. Sure. A little bit of cash. I've made back everything I spent on that stupid guy. Well, he had plenty of informative information. The most informative of information. A font of information, if you will. I, I guess. Also, you healed everybody. Yes. That's cool. That's Cleo being Cleo. And that's the, uh, the flowing rune. Yep. Let's okay. Get, get some poison control. Hmm. A portrait on the third floor. Uh, actually, on the second floor. Or whatever. There's another room, though. There is another room. Get him. Well, that's a good start. I say. Yep. The uh, random encounters in this place aren't that hard. There's a lot of them. It's a fairly long dungeon. Not super long, but fairly long. And what are those supposed to be? Rugs. I, I don't know. Oh, no, there's the portraits on the third floor. Yeah. So it's, what, third from the right, then second from the right? Yeah, it's... I, I, I know what the solution is, but it's really kind of like, how would you ever know this? Paying the purple zombie money, I guess. Yeah, but like I just, I just, I, I, I have to imagine it was lost in translation or something like that, or like, or they just, they didn't, you know, word it properly enough to be a reasonable explanation for how the puzzle works. Mm -hmm. Ooh, fourteen five hundred. Yeah, we're getting paid now. 
All right, so let me go check out what's over here first. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Didn't even notice that when you came in here. Bam! Job play. More crit? Anybody? Yeah. There. He Ooh. This isn't a crit. It was a crush. <laughs> Five hundred and forty damage. Well, remember he did upgrade his sword, and we've uh, we buffed it up as much as it can go for now. Mm -hmm. What do we got? Oh, hey. we can give that to Melody. Yeah. Oh yeah, I completely glossed over, but now that we have window, we have someone we can give our window settings to. Right. Make, makes sense, obviously, you know? <sighs> Get him! And some more money. Yeah, not much when it's just like one or two of them by themselves, but... Sure. I mean, 2,000's Adds not up. bad. Alright, so we've got... Peasant Girl. Yeah, so the way you can do this is you can not look at... You have to, like, look at them in, in the right order. Right. Chestnut tree. So we look at the chestnut tree. Ooh. A click. Girl in the early afternoon. Another click. Back to peasant girl. And finally, an enemy. <laughs>